I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at DevOx in Belgium and interviewing uh, Andres Almere and Sven uh, Reimers. Yeah. Right. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for being much. here. So, uh, Andres, you've been uh, organizing um, Hacker Garden. So, tell us a little bit what's happening there. So, what's happening in Hacker Garden? So, first, let me begin by saying what is a Hacker Garden? Mm. Hacker Garden is a group of people coming together. Uh, for a couple of hours, maybe three, four, five, and uh, early on we decide on which open source projects we want to code on. So it could be um, just fixing a bug, adding a new feature, creating a screencast, testing out new features, and giving feedback to the project. What is important about these kind of meetings is that at the end of the session, we or we tried our best to push the contribution back to the open source project. So opposed to other hackathons where you just hone your skills and make new friends and of course learn new IDE shortcuts, <laughs> uh, you actually make a positive contribution to the community. And uh, We've been running these sessions, uh, this is the third time in, in, in a row at DevOps. We have run sessions in other conferences. As a matter of fact, we did this year at uh, Java One. It was the first time. We, we changed the name a little bit. It was called Code Garden. Yeah. Yeah, uh, funny bit, uh, but we actually had lots of fun. So if someone is a beginner, can they also participate, or is it more for like a senior developers? No, certainly uh, the, uh, the idea of Hacker Garden is to be fully open. Uh, anybody can join in, uh, whether it be just uh, beginners, uh, students, uh, seniors, project leads, experts in the matter. The, the idea is to get kind of like an amazing set of group of people just there uh, brainstorming, uh, clashing ideas together and get some synergy happening. Okay. So what kind of projects were, or technology you've been working on for the last, what, two days? Is that uh, uh, yes, okay. so for the last two days uh, we code on JEE-based applications. So basically what we added were uh, converted some sample uh, JEE applications into um, Archelian tests. So in this case now they are no longer targeting a specific container, but now you can use them as a test hardness for Glassfish, for uh, Tommy, um, Wildfly, what, what have you. Any other uh, standard JEE container will work. So that's great. We also hack on, on Lambdas. Yeah, so okay. that was one of the other things going on. Um, was a small Lambda hackathon challenge thing. So um, Stuart Marx brought some ideas with him, and uh, we picked one that was creating for, uh, for JavaFX um, something. So um, there's this famous, uh, you have to do everything on the event thread for uh, UI toolkits. So sometimes you just want to get something back from that call. So we thought about, well, how to do this with the Lambda and the actual JDK version. And uh, yeah, we figured out something, and we uh, posted it as a GIF, and we will file a uh, request for enhancement with a uh, OpenJFX, and see if we can get it in for uh, Java 9. So how is the, the are, how are the lambdas? Uh, did you find any bugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, probably not. So no. we discussed some things um, um, we'd seen before, so why things wouldn't fit through the API, or which syntax uh, is in which place available and what not. So those things were discussed along the road, so yeah. So it's a, it's a good way to learn, actually, the lambdas yeah, as absolutely. well, right? So and play so with so it, right? Yeah, yeah, so you just don't go there for um, just being the, the project lead and, and leading people, but going there and learning something for yourself as well. So um, okay. learning something new, doing something hands-on, and giving back. So you were the expert for that uh, portion no, of the... No, you was the expert, and uh, okay. I was the guy trying to figure out a way and solving his puzzle, Good. so uh, yeah. So, so learn. you learned a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can learn more than just uh, IDE shortcuts with, with yeah. these kind of sessions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, we brought people together, um, people interested in Gradle, doing things with a, uh, a NetBeans and Gradle, mm. and figuring out new things, so making contacts, for people, so yeah. That's yeah, it turns thing. out that there was another project uh, called Mythos. Mythos is an open source, it's kind of like a, a humanitarian effort as an open source project for micropayments. Uh, this project uh, 
has a very long history, eight or nine years now going. They even won the Duke's Choice Award a few years back. And they are a standard web application. And th what they wanted to do is bring it forward to, the, uh, to modern technologies. So they also participated in adding Archelian-based testing. They also migrated from Maven to Gradle, which was another common team in the different uh, groups that we had. So we are actually jumping from one table to the next. Uh, oh, this is how you can do things in Archelian with this way. Oh, you want to use this other plugin with Gradle? Oh, no, yeah, you want to use this other thing? Oh, yes, you can do it this way. So there was plenty of cross-pollination in this thing. So we, we still have people going on at the moment while yeah. we are sitting here. <laughs> yeah, so, so supposedly stuff. the Hacker Garden was only for Tuesday, but we've, uh, we have uh, two rooms on our other side of, of where we are currently sitting, and uh, surprisingly people are still hacking. Yeah. And yeah. today that is, is late, people are maybe going for a beer or joining a Bob session. They are still hacking, and, that, and that's, that is amazing. So how many people do you think you had? I mean, if you had a chance to... If I had to count the three days, uh, say that we have uh, roughly 40 people, is, would yeah, that be probably. a assumption? Okay. So we had to compete against the sessions. There is a, such amazing content at this conference. And even so, there are still people working on the code. And how long do they stay, roughly? I mean, in, in general, do they stay like uh, maybe a couple of hours and go and do something else? Or do they stay... Uh, or you have some, some people who just stay... An entire day there. Mm. I, I think those uh, yeah, enterprise guys, they really stayed long. Yeah, so, so we were closing shop at 6 on yeah. Tuesday, and Arun Gunta, what's helping help us, and he said, well, you know, guys, uh, it's time for me to, uh, to close this thing. There are other things that I want to do. And there was this guy that's, there's just <laughs> one more, please, just one more, and I will do it. <laughs> And <laughs> they're closing the room now. Yeah. Don't worry, I will continue later. And he received uh, later in, uh, uh, so yesterday, he received more pull requests of the stuff that these guys were doing. Right, so. That's good. Yeah. Are you going to do it again? Next Certainly, year? we're going to do it. We con we'll continue to push this. This is an initiative that started back in, in 2010 in Basel, where, where I live. It, was, uh, it started by a, another colleague of mine, Hamlet Darcy. And we have exported this idea to other conferences and to other countries. Uh, for example, we try to run this monthly, these meetings in Basel. And other places where this has been successfully run is uh, Vienna, London, Seattle, Mexico City, Virginia in the US, and uh, J Focus, Copenhagen, Great Conf, Dabox in here in Belgium. So we certainly will continue to do so next year. The next uh, one that I have sure that is planned is Javaland next March. Great. So it works across countries, cultures. Yes. A mix yeah. of it, right? It's a very it certainly European. works. Yeah. Great, thank you so much for coming and explaining to us what, what is happening with the Hacker Garden. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. For us. Thank you. We'll cut that.